when you have 75, 80% of the people vaccinated, you have an umbrella of protection over the community that the level of community spread will be really, really very low. The virus will not have any place to go. It's almost metaphorically, if you think the virus is looking for some victims, when most of the people are protected, the virus has a hard time latching on to someone. When that happens, Governor, is going to be entirely dependent upon how well we do, how well I do, you do, your health officials, in getting the message out of why it's so important for people to get vaccinated. Because if 50% of the people get vaccinated, then we don't have that, that umbrella of immunity over us. But let's say it works out well. Now, let me answer your question specifically. And we do a really good job of convincing people. Uh, between now and the end of December, you would likely get a substantial proportion of healthcare providers and people in your nursing homes. As you get into January, you'll get the second level, and then February 3rd. I would think by the time you get to the beginning of April, you'll start getting people who have no high priority, just a normal man and woman New Yorker in the street who's well, has no underlying conditions. If we get them vaccinated in a full court press, get, get them really going, and you do that through April, May, and June, by the time you get to the summer, because remember, it's a prime boost, which means you get vaccinated today, you get a boost 28 days from now, and then seven to 10 days following that, you're optimally protected, even though you could get some protection even after the first shot. But optimally, it's within seven to 10 days following the second shot. If we do that well, by the time we get into the core of the summer and get to the end of the summer and into the start of the third quarter of 2021, we should be in good shape. That's what I'm hoping for. And that's the reason why it's so important to extend ourselves out to the community, particularly to the Black, African-American, Latino, the people who are undocumented, the people who we really need to get vaccinated.